So you could spend hours of your time searching for leads for your agency on Google or Facebook, Yelp, Groupon, or really wherever else that you find your business leads. Or guys, you could do it a different way. You could have a tool do all this hard work for you so you can focus most of your time on client outreach. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a tool called D7 Lead Finder that does just that. What is up guys, Kyler Olson here, and I actually hopped on my computer for this video so you can see what D7 Lead Finder looks like and also how it works. But before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, I post videos about personal branding and social media marketing. So if you do like today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future. Now, anyways, this is what D7 Lead Finder looks like. So this is after you've made an account and registered and it will bring you to the dashboard. So that's where I'm at right now. And so you have two boxes. You have the little left box over here that's new lead search. And this is where you'll do all your searching. And then over here, you have your recent history and then at the bottom you also have like your total amount of searches how many you have remaining for the day and things like that now what d7 lead finder basically does is it gives you all of the business info for the industry that you're searching and it gives you what you need to be able to contact these businesses so i'll show you what i mean so say i'm looking to contact businesses for my facebook advertising services now, if I want to search for dentists and target them, I'll just type in dentist as a keyword and location is Minneapolis, which is where I'm currently living. And then I'll just fetch data. Now, it takes about three minutes or less to get this data, so I'll speed up the video right now for you. All right, so the results are in and it was super quick. It only took about a minute and a half to two minutes, so it didn't take much time at all. And now we have all of the business information for dentists in Minneapolis, Minnesota that are on Google. So right away, this is what you get and what it shows for the business information. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom quick just to see how many uh, potential leads and businesses we have found. So I'm scrolling down to the bottom here and once I get there, let's see. So there are 834 dentists in Minnesota for us. So that's super awesome to see and you know, it shows that there's a lot of potential leads for us to offer our services to. Now I'm gonna scroll back up just to show you more in depth of what you get out of this tool. So you get the name, their phone number, their email and website, of course, and then also their social information. So if they have a LinkedIn, a Facebook, an Instagram, or a Twitter. Now on top of that, you also get whether or not their website uses a remarketing pixel. So as you can see, these businesses use the Google remarketing pixel and these businesses use Facebook remarketing. And this is just good stuff to know, say, if you are offering like Google ads or Facebook ads to potential clients, and it's good to know whether or not they have these pixels installed or not, and if they're a good potential lead for you. So you can also filter it by like the businesses that don't have any pixels. So if I do that, it's going to show me all the ones that don't have pixels set up. From there, it also gives you the reviews that, um, D7 lead finder finds on Google as well. So you can see whether this business has a lot of reviews, um, if you know they don't have many or if they have bad rating, you can see that. And if you offer like reputation management, you can find the businesses that don't have very many reviews or none at all and then help them get reviews. Now, another thing you can see is their Google ranking. So um, right here you can see where these businesses show up on Google's search algorithm. And this is a good thing to know if you are offering search engine optimization. So this is really awesome for all the stuff you get and it's much faster than you know manually searching Google and putting all of this information into an Excel sheet or you know writing it down or whatever you do to find potential leads. It's all automated with this tool. And now what you can do from there is you can download this data. So if you want to download to a CSV file, you can do that. So super great from there. And yeah, that's the gist of this tool. It's super easy to use and it's super useful. And like I can go back to the dashboard and just search for 
Um, other things that I want, so if I want to search for realtors or chiropractors or even in a different city, in, anything like that. So the opportunities with it are endless. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this tool is that it is a paid tool. Now, in the past, it used to be free, but as it became more popular and more useful, um, you know, a price became attached to it because of the value it provides. So I'm going to show you how much I pay for it. Um, I'll go into my profile real quick. And, you know, honestly, I look at it as an investment that is totally worth it because it saves you so much more time and it gives you so many more businesses to reach out to that it's going to pay for itself tenfold. So I don't really see the pricing as a problem. So these are the three options. So there's a starter plan of $24.99 a month, an agency plan at $44.99 a month, which is my plan, and then a professional plan at $94.99 a month. And like I said, like, I don't think it's that expensive and what I'm doing with it is I'm paying $44.99 for the month of February and I'm downloading all of the lists that I need for my business and then I'm going to cancel the subscription from there because I won't need to use it on a month to month basis. So I'm paying $44.99 for thousands of business leads that has all the information that I need on these businesses and I'm saving hours and hours and hours of time. So. I think it's totally worth it and it's a small price to pay for what you get. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is paid, but you know, you can use it for a month, take what you need from it and then cancel your subscription from there. And now I want to show you another use case for this information. So if I go back to the results for dentists in Minneapolis right here, um, this is going to load and what you can do is download the CSV file of this business information for each of the dentists. So we can do that by, um, it'll show up right here. So there's a CSV file download box and you can just download it to your computer. And then what you can do is you can upload that list into say a cold email outreach software. So for example, you could use a uh, Mailshake or Woodpecker where you can set up cold email outreach campaigns and use all of the emails from uh, from D7 Lead Finder and you know you can have the whole outreach process automated that way. So it's super nice to do that and um, if you do do this, I recommend before you put all the emails into your cold email outreach software is you get them verified. So I use a website called Email List Verify and the nice thing about this is you get your first 1,000 email verifications for free. So if you have a less than 1,000 emails that you're targeting, then you can use this so you don't have to pay any money. But if you want to do like more emails in a campaign, then you can always just pay a little bit. It's, it's super cheap to get emails verified. So that is what you should do before you put all those emails into um, a software. So. Once you have that CSV file, then you just upload it to, yeah, like I said, Mailshake or Woodpecker, and then you can build out the campaign and, you know, you can send these emails to the business automatically. So you don't have to, you know, manually type in these emails and manually send them to the businesses. This software will do it all for you. So that is one use case for this information. And then of course, you know, you can cold call all these businesses, just go down the list and basically do whatever works best for your business with the business information. So guys, that is all I have for you on this video. I do hope you learned something new from it. And if you did take any value from it, please leave a like. It really does help support me and my channel. And if you do want more videos just like this one, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.